All the anticipation is killing me. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel and to, well, an awkward voiceover because I forgot to switch my mic on in that lovely shot that you can see there. Anyway, as you guys will have known, if you saw my video from a few weeks back, I took a trip to Litchfield, firstly to find out what power my car was running with the recently added Quicksilver exhaust. But of course, I've also come to Litchfield to have a stage one remap. This was genuinely not something that I realized Litchfield would do for my car until I started researching it and when I saw their name I thought well I just have to get it done there because they are such a famous company and a company that I've always sort of held high up in my expectations. So that's why I've come to Litchfield and uh, today yeah, is all about seeing what power we're going to get from this ECU remap and well as you probably saw from the introduction and my reaction uh, it's pretty good anyway enough of this voiceover let's get into it and have some fun so guys you join me again from behind this glass perspex uh, if you saw my last video you will recognize it this is the viewing area for the dyno here at Litchfield uh, apologies about the noise hopefully you can hear me okay there's um, well, basically in a workshop there's actually some really cool stuff around there which I can't show you uh, anyway if you saw my last video you'll know but uh, to recap in this one the car stock was oh actually I've just seen the figures you can't look <laughs> the car stock was running 356 um, and that's with the Quicksilver exhaust. So actually it was about on the money with 340 being what BMW quote. Um, Sam has been in there doing his bits now with the laptop. Again, sorry about the reflections. Um, he's been in there for a little while doing his bits with the laptop. So I think he's put the software on and uh, the car is about to do a run. Some preliminary, preli preliminary, 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 preliminary figures have just appeared on the screen. Uh, but once he's done the final run, I will show you what the car is now making in terms of power. Here we go, I think we're going for a big run now. Which is going to be interesting, I'll try and film the screen for you. You can see uh, what have you got, you've got the RPM top right there, and obviously the graphs then in the middle. Uh, well, excuse the, the face slash neck mask uh, for a moment. While uh, Sam is in uh, in the dyno dyno room, um, sort of fine tuning bits on the tune, because I didn't realise they sort of it's not like they just literally get a computer, plug it in, and just wire it to the car. He's like he was saying that there's a little sort of dip in the power at a certain rev band. So he's doing run after run after run to try and perfect it and make sure that it's just delivering the power in the most, I guess, organic, efficient sort of way. So that's really interesting. Hopefully we can chat a little bit more about that. But anyway, I thought I'd come around the front and um, potentially have a chat with one of the guys here about sort of what Litchfield do, but also to talk to you guys about why I'm at Litchfield. There's plenty of other companies. Excuse me. Oh my God, I've just spotted a really cool car. There's plenty of other companies out there that will deal with M240Is, M140Is, and do tunes. Um, but Litchfield, uh, why am I here? Well, I thought it would just be quite interesting, really. Litchfield has obviously got an extremely, extremely good reputation um, when it comes to GTRs, and that's really what I know them for. And I know that they're 
obviously a fantastic and reputable company. And then I saw that they did something for the M240i slash M140i, and I thought I had no idea. I just would have assumed they wouldn't work with my sort of car. So obviously I saw that, got in touch and decided that's where I wanted to get the ECU done to the car. And I think they do, I need to, I need to get all the facts right, but they do a, a stage two as well, which I believe is where they fit a Remus exhaust. But as I've already had a Quicksilver, um, I'm just doing their stage one tune. But yeah, like I say, I had no idea that Litchfield worked with my sort of cars and my sort of car, uh, which is great. So I obviously came here because they're just a brand that, uh, I mean, it's like, it's sort of a place I never thought I'd ever bring a car, but here we are. So no, that's enough of me waffling. Let's just quickly show you some more of the stuff. So many, many a GTRs you would expect. In fact, geez, I mean, I can't actually even count. So let's just, I mean, wow. So there's an orange one there, uh, gray, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19. Right, we're over 20 R35 GTRs parked out the front. I have to say this one in black with the hey, Nismo wheels, they're awesome. They look amazing. Uh, have got an M2 competition parked out there. Uh, very, very, very meaty looking RS6, M4, freaking F12. It's like matte black with no plate. It looks crazy, crazy aggressive. M240i is back here in Litchfield. I think Sam has just taken it uh, out for a sort of test run to check everything's working okay. The covers are off the seat, so I presume it's all done. Now, the dyno room, obviously, I could only spectate through that glass visor, so it's actually pretty hard to see exactly what the readings were. But what we're going to do in a moment is hopefully get a printout um, and sit down with uh, Tom and have a look through um, the numbers and actually then we can see what it is really running but it just just looks so good that color combination in the sun um so yeah let's let's go and find out firstly what the final numbers are of the car uh and then i guess the next thing to do then will be uh take it out on the road and have some fun ah just the man just hello the man. joel we've got done? your figures yes well, yeah what have we got then well do you want to know stock first uh yeah well stock so stock in the last video we looked at that, that was three, five, what was it? Three, three five, five, five. Three, five, five. Yeah, so you got the paragraph there for that. Okay. Um, and then we move on to the tune power, um, which it produced 432. Okay. Um, that's yeah. pretty solid. Yeah, it's really good power. Stage one tune, that's what we'd expect, yeah. around 432, 435. Um, every car's slightly different, so um, quote 435, but 432 is very, very strong power. Yeah. Um, as you can see, we've got the stock um, power graphs there underneath as well. Um, see, so the dotted power. lines, yes, the dotted lines, you can see how it's transformed over stock. Um, so you get initially quite low down torque, get a lot okay. more low down torque initially, um, and then it follows the original path. And then um, at the top, it sort of adds a lot more power, you can see. So hang on, so, so this is stock, the dotted. And one dotted of them, one is of stock. Torque, one of them's Correct, yeah. Horsepower. Yes. So yeah, so it follows the sort of so we've got a lot more low down torque. Yes. And then it sort of... Follows the original um, power line. Um, and then when you sort of get up into boost, it really adds a little bit more. That's a Ferrari starting up, isn't it? That was the Porsche. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was the Porsche. Um, how embarrassing. So where am I gonna, where do you think I'm gonna notice it most when I drive it? Main, so you'll initially sort of really feel it low down. And then when you get onto boost, it will really come alive. Um, and make those rear tyres wear out a bit quicker. <laughs> exactly what I want. I'll yeah. have to take it to the Nervo ring now. Yeah, so definitely, cool. definitely be worth it. Get it restricted as well so I can do some audio. It will be de-restricted with a remap. Yeah, ah, yeah. so it'll be straight over 155. I'll take it up to 180 on the M4 back home then. Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, that's a joke. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is run off, not pay, and uh, take the car for a drive. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's get rid of this mask. Right. Ooh. This is uh, really exciting. Let me just put my seat back. So let's just remind ourselves. 432 brake horsepower. I was hoping for maybe 450, but you know, 
not to be today, um, up from 355. So that is 78 horsepower increase, which at 355 is about 22%. Um, so 22% increase, I should definitely notice, right? Uh, Tom was explaining that I'm going to probably feel it low down the most, which is great because um, that's off, often, often how... Do you know, I'm just going to shut up and drive it. This is really weird because, like, nothing's happened to the car, so to speak. It's just like some fiddling's been done. I've angled the camera so you should be able to see the speed and like therefore the acceleration. Uh, let me pop the digital speedo on there. So hopefully you can pick that up as well. But I just don't know what to expect. I'm sort of expecting it to feel fast, but I'm worried it's not going to be. I've always been sort of not skeptical, but just curious about these tunes, like how 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 they actually work and how much difference they actually make. But let me tell you, I'm hoping it's tangible. I'm sure it's got to be, hasn't it? 70, what was it, 78 BHP increase? So, yeah, that's 20, 22%, something like that. Surely I'm going to feel it. Oh, I'm actually, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. Okay, we're going left here, aren't we? Yeah. All the anticipation is killing me. Here we go. Okay, look, oh my God. Especially after seeing the results, I thought, okay, just under 80 horsepower, that's... But no, let me tell you, that feels like more. I mean, it isn't, but that... It, what it, it's like... Um, it's like someone's just giving the car a, a shove. Like, it feels normal. It feel, it, it's driving as it normally would, but it's just got this godly hand pushing behind it up the road. Um, Whereas before, how do I describe it? Whereas before, it felt like this, when you floored, when you accelerated in this car, it felt like you were being pushed up the road, right? Now, now what it feels like is there's a big sort of catapult over there that's pulling me, pulling, I'm like, you know, it actually throws you into the back of your seat here. Let's go anyway, second gear. Uh, what was this, 20 miles an hour? 60, 70. Bloody Nora. Okay, fair play to you, Litchfield. Fair play, that is really exciting. That is really exciting. I can't, I can't see myself getting used to that power instantly. That is, you know, that is some power. Um, wow. Yeah, well, I'm just blown away. I really am. <laughs> My guys, the other thing that the Litchfield tune has done, which you can probably pick up slightly on this camera, is it's actually changed the sport displays to reflect the new power levels. 
Just watch this, okay? 30 miles an hour up to 60. Well, that was 70 and it was struggling for traction. <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, the new sport display shows 480 power BHP and 480 pounds feet of torque, um, which is really cool actually. Guys, watch this. Launch control. Ready? Watch the speedo. <laughs> Flipping egg. Well, guys, I've got two hour drive home now. Um, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun in that time. Trust me, but I'll end the video here because otherwise it's just gonna be going on to the end of time. I'm very impressed actually, I'm very impressed. Um, and as we spoke about in the video, I'm really, I think it's just really cool actually that I've taken my car to Litchfield. They've obviously done a fantastic job um, and they obviously know what they're doing. He did lots of runs on the dyno um, to sort of get it right. And I have to say, if you got in this car um, and you'd never driven one before, it wouldn't feel like it'd been tuned. Obviously it'd be stupid fast, but it, it's not like the power is lumpy. It is really still exactly as it was actually in terms of the linearity. Um, so, wow, yeah, really, uh, I can't wait to take my family out in this now, my friends. Well, look, thanks to Litchfield for having me and for doing this for me. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the results and sort of giving me the bug now to do more with it maybe. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you've found it interesting. I hope you're enjoying the M240i content. There's more Z4 content coming soon, actually, as well, a new series on that car, uh, which I think you're all gonna love, but make sure you subscribe. If you've got this this far to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching all the way through, but do make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Um, it really helps out the channel, so I can do more crazy stuff like this. Um, but, oh uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to driving it now uh, and keeping this smile beaming. Right, thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you very, very, very soon. <laughs>